Building a satellite is not something that you can just Google search or read a Wikipedia page on and tell you how to do things. It's a lot of tribal knowledge and at Northrop we're lucky to have a, a very big tribe with a very deep background of experience building satellites for 60 plus years. R3-D2 is a Class D small sat program aimed at demonstrating new technology. From the beginning to the end of this project is about 20 months. R3-D2 is being launched from the Mahia Peninsula in New Zealand. It's probably the most beautiful launch site I've ever seen. There's like dramatic cliffs, there's rocky beaches. It kind of feels like a nice capstone to the whole project. We have not had small satellites of this class by a Defense Prime, and so this is a big deal. Our team setup is, is definitely something that's, that's new for the company. We have a lot of very young engineers who are very spirited and energetic and able to react fast, but might not have the background to make something like this happen. Every day we had to use some kind of disruptive thought process. We had to be agile in our approach and go around our processes and kind of break rules where we thought it was best for the mission. And we were trying to do something that was frankly unprecedented in terms of the schedule, the cost, the risk profile we were taking. A number of people told us that we had a 1-3% to chance of success. We've seen this movie before, why is this different? This is not what we typically do, what you're trying to do is too fast. That's par for the course when you're creating change. You're going to have naysayers and you just have to be persistent and do what you believe in and what is right. We do big satellites and we do them really well, but I think we can still do those missions while also doing these smaller, fast-paced, technology-forward missions. And we can do them in parallel with the same people. Being successful here kind of opens up a whole new business area for our company. Access to space is getting a lot easier with launch companies like Rocket Lab. I definitely think our program is on the cutting edge of new space. It's really important that large defense primes such as Northrop learn how to do this type of work in order to stay competitive in the industry. R3-D2 really demonstrated the ability to evolve to this new business model and the success that we've had so far has really shown um, that this kind of thing can become a reality. I think it's important for Northrop Grumman to get involved in projects like this because we have to. Small sats are a very important part of the future of space. It's important for Northrop Grumman to, to be on the leading edge of that revolution and be a leader in that new emerging market space. We are changing how future satellites will be built.